Tilapia farming is important for global food security. As the world's population continues to grow, the demand for affordable and nutritious food sources becomes increasingly critical. Tilapia, with its rapid growth rate and ability to thrive in various environments, stands out as a key player in meeting this demand. This fish is a good source of protein. It is low in fat and rich in essential nutrients, making it an excellent choice for a healthy diet. In many communities, tilapia serves as a staple food, providing vital nourishment to families. It is easy to farm in many areas. Tilapia can be raised in a variety of settings, from small backyard ponds to large commercial operations. This flexibility allows farmers to adapt their practices to local conditions and resources. This makes it a good choice for farmers, especially in developing countries. In regions where traditional agriculture may be challenging, Tilapia farming offers an alternative that can be both productive and sustainable. Tilapia farming can bring economic benefits to Nepal. By investing in aquaculture, communities can create new sources of income and improve their overall economic stability. This is particularly important in rural areas where job opportunities may be limited. It can create jobs and generate income. From the construction of fish ponds to the daily care and feeding of the fish, tilapia farming requires a range of skills and labour, providing employment opportunities for local residents. The growing demand for fish provides a ready market. As consumers become more health conscious, the demand for high quality, sustainably farmed fish like tilapia continues to rise. This ensures that farmers have a reliable market for their products. This makes tilapia farming a potentially profitable venture. With proper management and marketing, farmers can achieve significant returns on their investment, contributing to their financial well-being and community development. Tilapia is a versatile fish that adapts well to different environments. Whether in fresh water or brackish water, tilapia can thrive, making it suitable for diverse geographical locations and farming systems. It can be raised in ponds, cages and tanks. This adaptability allows farmers to choose the most appropriate and efficient method for their specific circumstances, optimizing their production and resource use. This adaptability makes it suitable for various farming systems. Whether using traditional pond systems or more advanced technologies, tilapia farming can be tailored to meet the needs and capabilities of different farmers. This guide focuses on Recirculatory Aquaculture Systems, or RAS, RAS technology allows for the efficient use of water and space, making it an ideal choice for areas with limited resources or environmental constraints. This system is ideal for Nepal's varied terrain and water resources. By utilizing local water sources and adapting to the country's unique landscape, RAS can help maximize the potential of tilapia farming in Nepal. It offers a controlled and sustainable way to farm tilapia. With the ability to monitor and manage water quality, temperature and other critical factors, RAS ensures optimal conditions for fish growth and health, leading to higher yields and better quality produce. Nepal's climate is well suited for tilapia farming. Tilapia thrive in warm waters and many parts of Nepal offer ideal temperatures. This allows for year-round production. The country's diverse geography provides options for different farming systems. From the Terai plains to the hill regions, farmers can choose the most suitable location. Water resources are abundant in Nepal, with rivers and streams crisscrossing the country. This availability of water is crucial for fish farming. Nepal has a growing demand for fish, making it a promising market for tilapia farmers. Local consumption can reduce reliance on imports. First, you need to select uh, a suitable site for your tilapia farm. This is the foundation of your entire operation, so take your time to evaluate different locations. Look for a place that has easy access to clean water, as tilapia require a consistent and high-quality water source to thrive. The land should be relatively flat or have a gentle slope to facilitate drainage and prevent water logging. Additionally, consider the proximity to markets and suppliers, as this will affect your operational costs and logistics. Consider factors like water availability, land slope and accessibility. Water availability is crucial because tilapia need a lot of it to grow healthily. The land slope will help in managing water flow and drainage, which is essential to prevent stagnant water that can harbour diseases. Accessibility is another key factor. You want to be able to easily transport supplies to your farm and fish to the market. 
Good road access can make a significant difference in the efficiency of your operations. A well-chosen site is essential for the success of your farm. It sets the stage for everything that follows from construction to daily operations. A good site will minimize potential problems and make it easier to manage your farm effectively. It will also contribute to the overall health and growth of your tilapia, ensuring that you can produce high-quality fish consistently. Next, you need to construct the RAS tanks. These tanks are the heart of your tilapia farming operation. RAS, or recirculating aquaculture systems, are designed to provide a controlled environment for your fish. They help in maintaining optimal water quality and temperature, which are crucial for the growth and health of tilapia. The construction process involves setting up the tanks, installing necessary plumbing and ensuring that the system is leak-proof and efficient. These tanks are where your tilapia will live and grow. The environment within these tanks needs to be carefully monitored and maintained. This includes regular checks on water quality parameters, such as pH, ammonia levels and oxygen content. Proper tank management will ensure that your fish remain healthy and grow at an optimal rate, leading to a successful harvest. The size and number of tanks depend on your production goals. If you aim for a large-scale operation, you'll need multiple tanks of varying sizes to accommodate different stages of fish growth. Smaller tanks can be used for fingerlings, while larger tanks are suitable for adult fish. Planning your tank setup according to your production goals will help you manage your resources more efficiently and maximize your output. Once the tanks are ready, you need to install the water treatment system. This system is vital for maintaining the quality of water in your tanks. It includes filters, biofilters and other equipment designed to remove waste and harmful substances from the water. A well-functioning water treatment system will ensure that your fish have a clean and healthy environment to grow in. This system is crucial for maintaining water quality. Good water quality is essential for the health and growth of your tilapia. Poor water quality can lead to diseases and slow growth rates, which can significantly impact your farm's productivity. Regular maintenance and monitoring of the water treatment system will help you keep the water in optimal condition. It removes waste and ensures a healthy environment for your fish. Waste management is a critical aspect of tilapia farming. Accumulated waste can lead to poor water quality and create a breeding ground for pathogens. By effectively removing waste, you can maintain a clean and healthy environment that promotes the well-being and growth of your fish. Finally, you need to acquire your tilapia fingerlings from a reputable hatchery. The quality of your fingerlings will directly affect the success of your farm. Look for hatcheries that have a good reputation for producing healthy and robust fingerlings. It's also a good idea to visit the hatchery and inspect their facilities to ensure that they meet your standards. Healthy fingerlings are the foundation of a successful farm. Starting with high-quality fingerlings will give you a better chance of raising healthy and fast-growing tilapia. This will ultimately lead to a more productive and profitable farming operation. By following these steps, you can set up a successful tilapia farm that produces high-quality fish consistently. The Recirculating Aquaculture System, or RAS, is a closed-loop system. This innovative technology is designed to create a sustainable and efficient method for fish farming. Unlike traditional aquaculture, which relies on a continuous supply of fresh water, RAS recycles the same water within the system. This not only conserves water, but also allows for better control over the aquatic environment. This means that water is continuously filtered and reused. The filtration process removes impurities and ensures that the water remains clean and safe for the fish. By constantly recycling the water, RAS significantly reduces the need for fresh water, making it an environmentally friendly option. This minimizes water usage and waste discharge. Traditional fish farming methods often result in large amounts of waste being released into the environment. However, with RAS, waste is managed more effectively, reducing the environmental impact. The RAS consists of several components working together. Each part of the system plays a crucial role in maintaining the health and well-being of the fish. These include tanks, filters, pumps and an aeration system. The tanks provide a controlled environment for the fish, while the filters and pumps ensure that the water is continuously cleaned and circulated. Each component plays a vital role in maintaining water quality. 
Regular monitoring and maintenance are essential to ensure that the system operates efficiently and that the fish remain healthy. The filter removes solid waste and uneaten feed from the water. This helps to prevent the buildup of harmful substances that could negatively affect the fish. This prevents the buildup of harmful substances like ammonia. Ammonia is a byproduct of fish waste and uneaten feed and if not properly managed, it can be toxic to the fish. The aeration system adds oxygen to the water. Oxygen is essential for the survival of the fish and the aeration system ensures that there is a constant supply. Tilapia need oxygen to breathe and this system ensures they have a constant supply. By maintaining optimal oxygen levels, the fish can thrive and grow, leading to a more productive and sustainable aquaculture operation. Section 5. Water, the lifeblood of your farm. Water quality is paramount in tilapia farming. Tilapia thrive in clean, well-oxygenated water. Regular monitoring of water parameters is essential. Use a water testing kit to check parameters like pH, temperature, and ammonia levels. These parameters should be within the optimal range for tilapia health. The water temperature should be between 28 and 32 degrees Celsius. Tilapia grow best in this temperature range. Regular water changes are necessary to remove accumulated nitrates and other dissolved solids. Partial water changes help maintain good water quality. Section 6. Feeding your tilapia, a recipe for success. Feeding is a critical aspect of tilapia farming. Proper feeding ensures good growth rates and healthy fish. Use a high-quality commercial tilapia feed. These feeds are formulated to meet the nutritional needs of tilapia. Feed your tilapia twice a day in the morning and afternoon. The amount of feed depends on the size and age of your fish. Observe your fish during feeding time. If they are not eating well, it could be a sign of stress or disease. Section 7. Keeping your tilapia healthy, a daily checkup. Regularly monitor your tilapia for any signs of disease or stress. Early detection is crucial for preventing outbreaks. Look for any abnormal behavior such as lethargy, loss of appetite or skin lesions. These could be signs of disease. Maintain good water quality to prevent stress and disease. Clean water is essential for tilapia health. If you notice any signs of disease, consult a fish health expert immediately. Prompt treatment is essential for preventing losses. Section 8. Reaping the rewards, harvesting your tilapia. Tilapia reach marketable size in about 6 to 8 months. Harvesting can be done using nets or by draining the tanks. Sort the harvested fish by size and quality. This ensures you get the best price for your product. Proper handling and storage are crucial for maintaining fish quality. Keep the harvested fish chilled and transport them to market quickly. You can sell your tilapia directly to consumers, restaurants or local markets. Fresh, locally grown tilapia is in high demand. Section 9. Benefits Beyond the Plate, Sustainability and Beyond Tilapia farming in Nepal offers both economic and environmental benefits. It contributes to food security and income generation. RAS systems minimize water usage, making it an environmentally friendly farming method. This is crucial in a country facing water scarcity concerns. Tilapia farming can empower local communities by creating jobs and improving livelihoods. It contributes to rural development. By adopting sustainable farming practices, Nepalese farmers can ensure the long-term viability of this industry. This benefits both present and future generations.